till 2023 this was the sure sure topic for j main till 2023 limit of a sum as definite integration was a sure sure topic for j main but right before january attempt 2024 nta released new uh, syllabus updated syllabus and this topic was deleted from the syllabus and i was very sad about it because this topic gives you plus four short short marks to those students who are aware that how to approach this type of problem so basically this is a this is an easy kill topic for those students who know how to do it okay all right but guess what nta is nta even after deleting they have asked the similar question uh, in 2024 January attempt you can see over here. So the problem you can see looks like gives you a delulu that it is of a limits chapter. It is from the limits chapter but no 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 this is a problem from definite integration. Let us understand how to decode, how to identify, how to realize that this is not a proper limit question but from the topic limit of a sum as definite integration. Please mind that the topic itself is saying limit of a sum expressed as definite integration. Let's understand what is the format. So you will see in such question, first of all, you will see limit over here where n will tend towards infinity. That's the first identification. And as you proceed, you, re you will realize there is a summation involved, either in form of sigma or in form of a series that is a plus b plus c something, something form of summation. So limit of a sum, now the identification is done, now we just need to execute things, okay. How to execute, let's understand. So first of all, this is the format we, which we need to uh, create in the question. That is limit n tend to infinity should be there, that is the first thing, 1 by n should be there. If it is not there, you have to create it. And inside the sigma, the complete expression should be only about r by n, where r is, r is equals to 0 to sum, n, 2, n, 3, n, whatever, okay. If it is the case, you can directly write it, Do no need to solve it. You have to convert it into definite integration. How? Let me show you. So first of all, you can see the conversion directly, how to convert this 1 by n will be replaced by dx. 1 by n dx, right? r by n clearly will be replaced by x. So f of r by n will be f of x. And sigma will be replaced by integration. How to know the limits? To know the limits, you just have to use this. r by n. So put r is equals to 0 over here. So 0 by n, that is 0. So lower limit will be 0. From here, lower limit. What about upper limit? So upper limit n. So put r is equals to upper limit n. n by n, that is x equals to 1. So 0 to 1. Please uh, ca uh, calculate the limits carefully. Most of the time it is 0 to 1. But sometimes it is 0 to 2, 0 to 3 as well. So this is how you do it. Okay. Now that we have understood, let's solve a problem for Jamie in 2024. Because we have to be prepared for April attempt. If they ask a question from this topic and it is an easy kill topic. So why? we should lose our four marks okay so let's do it now all right the value of limit n tend to infinity sigma this is what we need to figure out so let's understand limit n tend to infinity yes then sigma it's there yes that that means we have to express in terms of definite integration okay so first of all i need n in the denominator for that let is let me just multiply n over here and divide n over here so it will become limit n tend to infinity, right? 1 by n as discussed. Then sigma will be here. K is equals to 1 to n. Okay. And n raised to power 4. Now this n raised to power 4 can be divided over here. And this n raised to power 4 can be distributed actually. So n square will be here. And another n square can be written over here. So that it becomes n raised to power 4. And it is coming from the numerator. Okay. Now limit. N tend to infinity. 1 by n. Sigma is there. K is equals to 1 to n. And 1 upon. Can you see this is 1 plus k by n whole square. And this is 1 plus 3k by n square square. Now k by n clearly will be replaced by what? X. Okay. And 1 by n will be replaced by dx. So now we can go ahead and replace the thing dx 
This is 1 upon 1 plus k by n will be x, x square. This is 1 plus 3x square. Okay. And we are having integral. That's it. Now, what about limits? So, we know that x will be replaced by k by n. Lower limit is 1. 1 by n. n tend to infinity. 1 by infinity is 0. Lower limit is 0. Upper limit is n by n. So, 0 to 1. This is our integration. Okay. All right. Now, we need to just solve this definite integration and plug in the upper and lower limit. How do you do that? So, this is a clear cut case of either partial fraction or you can do it with the help of manipulation as well. So, 3 if you take common, it will become x square plus 1 by 3 and 3 will remain outside. Over here, I have done this. So, this is 3. 3 if you take common. So, this is 1 by 3. x square plus 1 will be as it is and this is x square plus 1 by 3. Okay. And now, we need to create the difference of these two quantities in the numerator. So, 1 and 1 by 3 difference will be what? 2 by 3. So, basically I need 2 by 3 over here. By 3 I already have. I just need a 2. So, 2 by 2 I need to multiply. So, 2 by 2 I have multiplied so that I keep it 2 by 3 over here and this 2 by 3 is nothing but difference between these two as you can see. x square x square cancel out. 1 minus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3, right? The agenda is to separate it out. Now, x square plus 1 upon whole this. So, these two get cancelled out. So, 1 upon x square plus 1 by 3 minus this 2 cancel out 1 upon x square plus 1 by 1. Okay. Now, this is what? Can you see it? Root 3 square 1 upon x square plus a square integration 1 by a. So, that would be 1 upon 1 by root 3 root 3 tan inverse x by a. So, tan inverse root 3x minus tan inverse x 0 to 1 put the upper limit. So, tan inverse root 3 tan inverse root 3. So, root 3 60 degree pi by 3 tan inverse 1 is pi by 4 this is your answer now you just have to uh, manipulate solve simplify to match it with the final answer let's do that so root 3 by 3 will be 1 upon root 3 so this is your answer right now let's just take lcm so 4 root 3 into 2 8 root 3 pi can be taken out common 4 minus root 3 okay now rationalize it the moment you rationalize 4 minus root 3 4 plus root 3 that would be 16 minus 3 16 minus 3 is 13, pi is already there, 8 root 3 is already there, root 3 can be multiplied, so 4 root 3 plus 3, so this is your answer, 13 pi by 8, 4 root 3 plus 3, so can you see 13 pi by 8, option 2 is absolutely right, okay, Vese, if I if I talk about it, this was our answer, but we need to match the answer, sometimes they complicate like this okay so this is the uh, question and uh, this was in 2023 so this is the homework question for your uh, uh, practice so let me know the answer in the comment box this is from jamin 2023 for your practice okay i'll see you in the next video